Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for being here. This afternoon, we not only break ground on the new Legacy Building, but we will also be turning the dirt for our brand new Sue Anschutz Rogers Livestock Center. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you kick off the best 16 days in January. This stage is actually set on what will be the common wall that these two buildings share. We started this campaign six years ago, and it really is indeed a cause and a reason to have a great celebration, and I just can't tell you how delighted I am that you all have come to join us. The Western Stock Show Association Legacy Building, slated for completion in 2025, will serve as a home to all members of National Western family. It'll be a gathering place, a gallery, a watering hole for friends, cowboys, and art lovers. I'm truly grateful everyone, all of you who are here and those who couldn't come, who have participated in this campaign to date. And I just can't thank you enough. What a fantastic way to kick off the National Western Stock Show for our 117th year. These two buildings are vital to us completing the vision of the stock show for the next 100 years and I could not be more thrilled to be breaking ground on our new home. The National Western Stock Show represents the West as it was, as it is, and as it will be. The building of the National Western Center, which also includes the yards and the equestrian center, will transform and invigorate this old complex into a regional, national, and international focal point capable of carrying and expanding our rich legacy into the century ahead. Let me extend a special welcome to our donors, members, trustees, exhibitors, producers, Fellow Stock Show Association board members, this is a special day. The troughs in front of us here, used as part of the ceremony today, they are just a few of the historic concrete troughs that we salvaged from the old yards. Now I'd like to ask all Western Stock Show Association board members to join me up here in front to break ground on our new home. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will break ground in the new Sue Anschutz Rogers Livestock Center. The new Sue Anschutz Rogers Livestock Center will be the hub of all livestock activities and provide a multi-use, flexible indoor and outdoor facility year-round for success. It will also allow the National Western to grow our livestock show to numbers that we only dreamed of not too long ago. Sue Ann Schutz Rogers has been a National Western and stock show fixture for decades. She's been a longtime member of our board of directors. In 2006, she was the first woman to be named Citizen of the West in her own right. We're thrilled to have Sue's family, friends, and colleagues joining us today. Sue is a smart and savvy businesswoman and a philanthropist who has used her own family foundation to put a spotlight on rural communities. Her grit is legendary, her work ethic daunting. She is a true embodiment of the code of the West. As chairman of the Western Stock Show Association, it gives me great pleasure to declare January 6, 2023, Sue Ann Schutz Rogers Day in recognition of her outstanding contributions to the National Western Stock Show and the preservation and advancement of the heritage, culture, work, ethic, and values of the West. Thank you very, very much for such a very nice honor. But this is not about me. The National Western Stock Show is symbolic of what the American West means to me. I'd like to make a toast that the National Western will see another 117 years. Here, here. Yeah. Now, I'd like you all to turn your attention to Sue, Pete, Doug, and Paul as they officially break ground on the Sue Anschutz Rogers Livestock Center. Please make sure you grab some snacks, some drinks, and onward to 
the best 16 days of January. <laughs>